हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन सो दिस वाज आवर क्वेश्चन एंड आई होप यू अटेंडेड द क्वेश्चन नाउ इट्स माय टर्न इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप द ऑक्सीजन विल डोनेट्स इट्स लोन पीआर टू द वैकेंड ऑर्बिटल ऑफ ब्रोमीन and it will give this where oxygen is positive charge and bromine is negative charge now most important question is from wh wh which side the ring opening will occur this side this is a or this side this is b if the ring opening will occur in the a path then positive charge will present in this place if this ring opening will occur b path then positive charge will present in this carbon so as we know this carbon is more substituted side this side is more substituted side so it will go via a path and this carbocation this this intermediate this carbocation intermediate will form this carbocation intermediate will form this carbocation intermediate will form similarly in the case of aluminum again the lone pair of oxygen donate to the vacant orbital of aluminum and this will form ch3 o a r o a r and c c h3 whole three here oxygen is positive and aluminum is negative again like we see in the previous case the a path is more suitable for the cleave and it will give this carbocation st more stable carbocation o aluminum ch3 o a r o a r aluminum is negatively charged here hydrogen is present here hydrogen is present hydrogen now we all know the migratory aptitude order that is hydrogen then ph then alkyl 3 degree 2 degree 1 degree so in in the first case hydrogen will migrate leading to this ketone leading to the formation of ketone leading to the formation of ketone but if if we consider this case this case this aluminum reagent is already bulky so it will kick out this bulky alkyl group as it has no room to place this alkyl group so in this case the migration of this alkyl group will take place and it will form a aldehyde rather than a ketone that's why this aluminum reagent is very special this is bulky reagent that's why aldehyde formation is favored but in this case ketone will form 
if we see the other cases that is for SBF5 this is almost similar to BF3 but in the case of SNCL4 this, this will give 50% aldehyde and 50% ketone in the both cases SBF5 and BF3 ketone will form as a major product but in the case of SBCL4 50% ketone and 50% aldehyde will form that means 50% chance of proton transfer and 50% chance of this alkyl bulky alkyl group transfer but in the case of aluminium this alkyl group will transfer selectively and 100% with 100% possibility that's why we will get aldehyde rather than ketone in the case of this aluminium reagent with the epoxide the epoxide ring opening is very important in chemistry nowadays question will frequently ask from this topic thank you